Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's your girl Keep Red and I'm back with another video. Y'all, I'm very excited because Loop Lumpino, I hope I said that correct, has updated her Woohoo Wellness and Pregnancy Overhaul mod. Uh yesterday i believe and when i saw it i was like i need it right now the public release for this doesn't come out till february 15th so if you are already a mod of a uh, patron of her excuse me um she did update this so make sure you get the update if you are not then you have to wait to the 15th to get this so her newest update for this is alternative pregnancy, artificial inseminations, and surrogacy. And it's funny because I just did a my review video on Shoe Shoe Sperm Donor Mod. So, but this mod has a little bit more. So, first off, I want to start out with the surrogacy part. Excuse me, I can't talk today. I want to start out with the surrogacy part of this mod. So, uh, it says that... You know, your sim, if they are in a relationship, then they need to discuss. They need to agree. So, I have two sims here. Random sims right off my gallery. I didn't feel like creating new sims. If you guys recognize him, he's from... I gifted him, you guys, from when I reached a 1,000 subscribers. And I had not played with him. So, I just threw him in this game for this. And then it's just another random sim that I created. But anyway, so... Let's see how we can do this. She said that they need to agree. So let's find the pie menu. Pregnancy and family. And then here it is. Alternative pregnancies. And then we can discuss carrying a baby for another. Discuss having a baby through a surrogate. Or discuss opting for artificial insemin insemination. So first let's discuss having a baby through a surrogate because i think well if i didn't i sure forgot i wanted to make her not be able to get pregnant okay so it says alternative conception christina suggested she and zachariah should have a baby through a surrogate mother what does zachariah think okay so looks like we get the pick so it says sounds good to zachariah zachariah is not interested interested at all okay so we're gonna go ahead and put sounds good to zachariah he said all right let's look into it so now to start the process it says having a baby through a surrogate is available in the family and pregnancy and then alternative pregnancy your sin will call the agency of surrogate mothers and then can choose amongst the available surrogate mothers so i wonder if we have to allow somebody to do that. I'm pretty sure that... Uh, oh, snap. Hold on, y'all. I know I'm in the middle of my sentence, but when we chose that um, we want to do a surrogate, we got some new interactions. So when I clicked on pregnancy and family, it says get a sterilization surgery, define pregnancy wish, book family planning appointment, her status... But we're supposed to click on alternative pregnancy. And then it says that we need to call the agency of surrogate uh, mothers. It says if Christina has an official partner, it would be best to discuss this with them before doing it. So let's go ahead and click register with agency of surrogate mothers. Y'all, that took a little bit of time. But it says, Christina is now registered with the agency of surrogate mothers and may get phone calls asking her to carry a baby for others. Oh, okay. So I thought that, I must have read it wrong, but I thought that um she would get to pick who she wants to. Because it says, your son will call, oh, maybe we need to do it again. Hold on, let me see y'all. We gonna get this right. Because we are registered now. So let me make sure. Okay, so no. Only thing now is cancel registration to agency of surrogate mothers. Oh, that's why. Okay, y'all. Here it is right here. Oh, so I wasn't supposed to register. Registering triggers the fact that people will call her to carry the baby. So we need money. We need $5,000. Okay, we can do that. Let's give them let's give them a bunch of money for now. 
I don't play with this household. So let's just give them some money. Ooh, I meant to do 50000 but whatever. Okay, y'all, here it is. It says, have a baby through a surrogate mother. It's 5,000 simoleons. And then, look, we get to pick <laughs> who we want to carry. So I guess in order for played sims to show up, you probably would have to go to them and... And you need to have them register already so they can show up in in the in the menu. So we're just gonna uh, pick Miss Seema here, and let's see what happens. Okay, she's on the phone. I don't know why her arm glitched like that. Okay, y'all. So it took the five thousand dollars from us. It says surrogate mother Seema, whatever her last name is, will carry a baby for Christina. They'll give her a call in two days to keep her up to date and offer to announce the baby's birth gender. Christina can invite them over anytime to see the baby bump growing. Uh, I, I think that meant was supposed to say growing and feel the baby. Once the pregnancy is at term, Christina must invite them so that they give birth to her new baby okay so it says she must invite them so i guess that means we supposed to have a nursery ready in a sense because i was supposed to make her not be able to have kids but anyway we're gonna add like we did already so i guess let me get a nursery together real quick um because it's gonna take a while because it said two days so okay y'all while we wait for these two days uh, we did get a custom moodlet down here. It says, found a surrogate from registering as surrogate. The agency for surrogate mothers found someone willing to carry Christina's baby. Oh, that's so cute. New partner. Let's see if we got any other. Um, okay, it says, happy agreement. It was a difficult request to make, but Christina had hopes her partner will understand why this matters to her. The opportunity it represents for her to have the child she wishes for. And what a joy it was to hear them understand and accept that they look into this process together. Oh, that is so freaking sweet, y'all. Uh, I wonder how it would have been if I wouldn't have to. Um, chose that option I did read that if the partner doesn't agree you know when the baby gets here you know they will be pretty much you know angry or whatever so I will come back when oh never mind y'all look look it says let's not miss it it says hello my name is Seema so y'all I can't pronounce her last name but it says hello my name is Seema and I'm carrying your baby I am happy to be able to bring it into the world for you I'll call back a little later to tell you how things are going feel free to invite me over if you want it says wonderful to hear thank you oh that is so freaking sweet y'all that she called us so we will definitely be calling her over you know so we can see her how she's doing basically okay so like i said i'll come back once something else happens okay y'all so it says i'm just gonna read a few notes it says soon after calling to get the process started your sim will get a phone call from the surrogate to introduce themselves your sim can invite the surrogate anytime to fill the baby and hang out in general later your sim will get another phone call offering to reveal the baby's birth gender your sim can also ask the surrogate about that anytime when inviting them. If you don't want to wait the two days of the NPC's pregnancy, you can make them ready to give birth instantly under pregnancy and family, then status when clicking on the sim who started the NPC surrogate process. Okay, y'all, we finally got a notification. I didn't want to cheat and speed it up because I want to go through the whole process but this process that I'm showing y'all is through the NPC version. So it says the surrogate mother carrying a baby for Christina is ready to give birth. Invite them over and ask them about pregnancy progress. So let's do that. Stop talking to him. Go ahead and invite her over here. Okay, y'all, she's here. So we're going to go ahead and invite her in. Okay, yeah, we got that option. Come on, invite her in. She's ready to have your your child. She looks very sad, so she is definitely in labor. Where are you going? Oh, I guess she wants to stay outside. She could come inside where it's cool at. So let's go ahead. It says we need to ask about the progress. 
So we can either ask about baby's birth gender or ask about pregnancy progress. So she's asking her about the progress. It says, well, in fact, I'm very near to term. Oh, wait, what an odd coincidence. I think I may be going into labor. Okay, cool. So it says the surrogate mother will join your household for the time of labor and will then leave it. Once the surrogate is gone, don't forget to welcome new baby so that your new child knows who his parents are. Oh, nice. Let's see. Let's go ahead and ask what the gender is. Let's see if she knows what, what the gender is. So can we, So do we direct her to the crib or I'm not sure. I think we just, I think it's just a waiting game or, oh, so they're having a girl. Okay, since there's a baby on the way, Sim Social Services has provided a complimentary bassinet for the little one. Okay, we're not going to have the baby outside. I just noticed that she was automatically added to the household because we did just read that the surrogate mother would join your household and I forgot. So, what does this say? No, what? We got a bassinet over here though, but okay. Okay, y'all, so... She gave birth to a baby girl. Oh, God. I forgot to look up their last name. I don't know their last name, but it's definitely not this. Ah, uh, shoot, 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 y'all. Let's just name the baby Krista since the mom's name is Christina. What is their last name, y'all? Oh, my goodness. I don't I don't remember. We're going to name it Sim for now because I, I really don't remember. <laughs> oh, she's having, tw she's having twins. No. I'm happy, but wow. We can name him Zachary because that's two different names. Seema and Zachariah had twins. Um, his last name is Parkman. Her last name is Velasquez because they're not married. Okay, so now we need to get the baby because technically the baby isn't hers, right? Let me, let me see that right. Open Sam profile. I don't know why it says friend, but okay. So we got one of the babies lingering right there. Okay, so let me read the notes, y'all. It's always important to read the mind notes. So now we need to have them welcome the new baby. Where's the new baby? Welcome new baby. So the baby won't be recognized as the um, their child until you interact with the baby. So cuddle with the baby. She's holding the other baby. So now she automatically left the household, which is great. So Christina, I need you to get up and um, come interact with the baby, please. Well, the welcome new baby interaction didn't show up for me, um, but... The baby finally shows up as his daughter. And I wonder, I'm not sure if it showed up as his son yet. So he has to actually interact with the baby for the baby to show up as his son. So she interacted with the son, right? Let me see. Oh, okay. I forgot, y'all. So because they got a surrogate, the child isn't, you know, biologically hers. Okay, y'all. So I, I'm noticing that... For some reason, the son isn't showing up as his son, but that is his son. I guess because they, she only told him that they having a girl and not twins. So I don't know if that was a, a glitch or what. So that was the NPC part of the mod. I want to demonstrate it as if you are the surrogate. All right, y'all. So we are here with my other Sim Candy, and we're going to do the part of the mod where we have a played Sim carrying for um the other sim so we will go back to the pregnancy and family pie menu and then we'll go back to alternative pregnancies and then this time we will click carry a baby for other sim it says if candy has an official partner it would be best to discuss this to discuss this with them before doing it and she does not so now she is calling the uh agency of surrogate mothers to let them know that she's willing to carry a baby for someone so looks like we get to pick who we want to carry a baby for and this is literally all base game people so well not base game people but just townies from you know packs and stuff and look our sim is on here christina zachariah okay y'all so we're gonna go with diego i just think he would be perfect i don't ever see him with anybody in game and Maybe he wants a child or something. 
I don't know. <laughs> Maybe he just does. And he lives in San Mashuno. So it says, thanks for calling the agency of surrogate mothers. We most certainly have a family waiting for a surrogate. It says, come over and we can get the process started. And if you wanted to do this again in the future, don't hesitate to register with us. So right now she is not registered. Are you about to go? So is she pregnant now? Oh, she got to go get inseminated. Well, do you got to be naked? Is that your hot weather wear? Okay, sis. Okay, y'all, Candy is back, and it's telling us to take a pregnancy test to see if the insemination works. So we're going to have her come over here and take this pregnancy test. And it worked. It says Candy is pregnant. She is eating for two. Oh, look. So here it is. Surrogate pregnancy trimester one. Candy is carrying a baby for another sim. Hopefully the pregnancy will go well. Hopefully it does too, huh? I hope she has a great one it says uh we did the getting started part so it says once pregnant the sim will have special trimester movements to reflect the nature of this pregnancy many interactions from this mod usually available at pregnancy will not be because this is a special pregnancy pregnancy wish will be ignored and have no effect since this child is not for the sim carrying it the sim the sim can text the baby's future parents and invite them over so that they can feel the baby okay y'all so we are going to just summon him over here since we don't know him that should be his name right yep that's his name so come right on over okay let's uh let's meet diego before he try to hop on the computer friendly introduction and let him feel the baby oh look that was a new interaction tell about carrying baby for others it says that is so generous of you to give to others the chance to have the child they dream of oh that is so sweet one thing i would like to see and maybe the creator will add it later i know that in real life if you're a surrogate from somebody you actually get paid from it so i think that'll be nice to see can you ask him to feel the baby or is that not an option yet okay y'all so we i went ahead and jump started it so we can see all of the special moolets for each trimester surrogate pregnancy trimester two it is a little strange as this pregnancy advances and candy's hormones and instinct occasionally push her to think of the baby or bond with the idea of it she she but she must not as this will not be her baby nothing that she did not expect but still something more to handle when it pops up the pregnancy goes on oh i just think that's so realistic because i know people are like that you know when they're caring for somebody they probably start to get attached and stuff like that you know okay y'all i jumped ahead again it says surrogate pregnancy trimester three it says candy is nearly for term perhaps the toughest part of pregnancy where the toll it takes on one's body is unmistakable candy is more than ready to have a child and see the end of the surrogate process the baby's future parents are certainly dying to meet it i am really loving this my like lupino you freaking did that you did that and guess what y'all we're gonna go ahead and send her to the labor so we can send the baby with his or her parent pregnancy phase in labor so it says once once the sim is given birth the sim must send the child to his parents clicking on the child and find the pregnancy and family and then alternative pregnancy menu okay y'all so kenny gave birth to a baby girl for uh diego so i went ahead and changed the last name because i remember that time and just for my humor we're going to name the baby dora because you know dora diego they cousins yeah <laughs> okay so now we're supposed to send the baby to their parent look there's diego diego is ready and the new pod menu actually popped up this time it didn't pop last time when we did it through the the npc but we do have the new pod menu pregnancy and family alternative pregnancy send surrogate child to his parents oh I talked too soon earlier, y'all. We got 8,000 simoleons for that. Diego said, thank you for what you have done for us. We are so happy to meet our child, even though we all know Diego is single. And he's right here. Oh, my goodness. 
go bond with your baby oh my god y'all so that worked that was that part of the mod okay y'all so the other part of this mod is the artificial insemination just like with the other sim when we demonstrated the sperm donor process so everything is under the pregnancy and family pie menu you will go to alternative pregnancies and then you will click attempt artificial insemination and it says chances of success are 50 percent if it if it succeeded pregnancy starts if a partner exists and didn't agree to the process they will be angry so we do get a pop-up it says, would Candy rather look through portraits to pick a source for the artificial insemination or would she rather have the lab pick a sample at random? Let's just look through the portraits and pick. Let's see who we got. <laughs> Ian is a good looking young brother right there. Okay, so the art of attempt artificial insemination is 800 simoleons. So if you don't have $800, y'all, it won't work. It says, Sims can tell others that they have tried this process and can tell others when they have failed. Reaction to failure, if the partner is the one told, depend on pregnancy wish. Pregnancy will go on normally once of teen age. Children can be told about how they were conceived. Ooh, that's pretty cool. So I don't think that this mod conflicts with the sperm donor mod because I do have the sperm donor mod still in my game. So I think that's, that's pretty cool that when they become teenagers, they can ask about that. It says, no, family tree represents genetic truth. Sim profile represents actual relationships independently of blood type. It says, hopefully the insemination attempt will have worked. So, of course, you guys already know what I'm about to say. She needs to go take a pregnancy test. Okay, y'all. So, the artificial insemination worked. And when you go back to the pregnancy and family menu... A bunch of options pops up. So she can go get an abortion. She can go buy something for upcoming baby. She can get, well, this was already there. Um, discover baby's birth gender. And I think those, yeah, those are the new options. So you can also go to a birth class. You can go to early parenthood class. If you just, you know, I will be playing around with these settings, but... And of course, they all come with custom mood lists. You know, we already know about the eating for two, successful artificial insemination. Wonderful, this artificial insemination attempt worked and the couple is expecting a baby. In this case, it's a single person. Oh, and of course, from the surrogate pregnancy, it says pregnancy over. It's nice to be done with the pregnancy. The surrogate process is almost over now. Oh, candy. So yeah, guys. It worked. I don't need to go through the process because this will be can this will be Candy's baby, and we're just gonna pause it right here. And Tom peeping don't want to leave us alone. But yeah, guys. So that is the update for her woohoo woo wellness and pregnancy overhaul mod. I will link it down below just in case you decide you want to go ahead and get it. Let me know what you guys think about this update. I'm here for the realism guys i really am like ugh. it's perfect it's perfect but anyway y'all thank you guys so much for watching this video if you enjoyed it please like leave a comment down below don't forget to subscribe hit that notification bell and of course always remember to be you do you and stay true i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys